In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Descript's video editor. This is going to be a pretty rapid fire, quick video going through each of these. So an overview, how to create clips, how to adjust aspect ratios, how to use Descript's AI, how to edit the video using text like a document, how to speed up clips, how to add elements, how to add captions, and how to create a template that you can apply to future videos. So my name is Mitchell Gould. I create B2B video content for different tech and SaaS companies that we then use to distribute on LinkedIn ads. So if you're interested in that, you can check out the links in the description, but let's go ahead and jump into Descript's video editor and go through each of these. Now you can use the chapters below if you wanna skip ahead, but right now we're logged into Descript and on the left-hand side, we have our projects. You can record a new project by clicking record. You can create a new project here as well. I already have a recording in Descript that we're gonna edit. So I'll go ahead and double click into that recording. So first, just a quick overview of the Descript editor. On the right hand side, these are the different sections that allow you to make different actions on your video. So under Lord is Descript's AI and you can make adjustments using AI like removing filler words, editing your video for clarity. It will remo remove different sections of the video and make adjustments. This is the project section where you can adjust the project and add different clips, different compositions. The scene section is where you can save and add a template. You can also make some different adjustments to like the background, add some effects, transitions. The later section is where I mainly use it to adjust the duration of the video. So if we want to speed up clips, you can also record, add elements, add captions and other stock videos. And on the bottom, if you click show timeline, you'll see the actual video timeline. And then there are some tools here that you can use to adjust the timeline. A lot of times I just edit the video using the text. So just like you're editing a, a document. So now I'm gonna show you how to create compositions. Compositions just allow you to create different clips from a larger part of the video. So say we have a long video and I want this section as a clip. I'll just go ahead and copy that. So I highlighted and then I'll copy that section. Then at the top, I'll click uh, my project and then I'll click new composition and then I'll paste in the composition. So I just did command V on my keyboard and I pasted in that text that we copied. Now we have this portion of the larger video. So it's great if you're creating individual clips from a larger video. Now I'll go back into the main project and I'll show you how to adjust the aspect ratio. So if you click the aspect ratio and video settings icon here, you can adjust it from landscape, portrait, square, or other. I'll go ahead and select square as an example. Now, if I want to adjust the video in here, I can select it and then I can drag it up and down and I can adjust the video as needed there. So I made my video take up the whole square there. Now, if you want to use AI, you can click under Lord and they have different options here. I mainly use edit for clarity. You can remove uh, retakes, remove filler words, but if we click edit for clarity, you can adjust the level of how much it will edit. So I'll do medium here and I'll click submit. Now it's made some edits to my video and I can review those. So say it deleted a portion of the video that doesn't make sense to delete and I wanna get it back. You can just highlight that strike through section and then click the strike through um, icon there and it'll bring that portion of the video back. So I like to use the AI editor to make some quick edits. So then you can click done and you'll have your edits there. And if we want to just edit the video using text, say we want to remove a portion, again, you just highlight it, then you can click the strike through and that will remove it. If we want this back, we can highlight it again and click the strike through and it will add it back. And if you want to edit the script, which will impact your captions, you can highlight a word and then you can select it and click correct and then you can make an adjustment. So just as an example, I'll make that a lowercase and then click correct and that would get applied to your captions. So you can review that. If you want to remove say a, a comma here, you can click that and then go in here, remove that comma and that will apply that and it will be applied to your captions. Now, if we want to speed up a video, we'll go into the later section and at the top, we'll select duration and then you can increase it. So if we want to increase this video by 50%, we'll put 1.5. Now that will really reduce the duration of the video by speeding it up that much. If you want to speed up just a certain section, you can highlight that section and then you can add, uh, adjust the, the speed there as well. And then we'll go to the element section. So this is where you can add in different elements. You can import different media. 
um, to your videos. I'll go ahead and remove that. You can add in basic shapes, some, some dynamic text. So maybe we add in a timer here and then you can make adjustments to that. And if you click the layer section and you go back out, you'll see the different layers of the video as well. So we have our recording. Now we have this text element. I'll go ahead and remove that text element by clicking delete. And in the later section, you can also add in animations. So if we want to do some custom animations, some zoom in pans, you can do that there. You can also add in stock uh, imagery here if you want, or stock videos and audio. And then in the caption section, this is where you'll add captions to your video. So you can click and it will apply the caption to your video. You can adjust the size. So that will adjust how much text is in there. And then you can adjust the, the, the font size and that will make adjustments there. You can adjust the color and the styling of the caption as well. And then say we want to create a template out of this video. We always wanted this caption to appear. We can go to the scene section and click the top three dot icon and click save layout and then we'll click create new template and then you'll give this a name so we'll call it template one and then we'll click create and then also give it the same name here and then click add and that's going to add your layout to the template section so if you ever want to apply this to future videos you can click scene and then go to see more layouts and go to private and then you'll see your template here that you can apply to your videos and then when you're ready to publish your project, you can click publish and then you can click publish here. And this will allow you to share a link with someone. So if you want to just share a version, you can share the link and then by clicking copy link and you can share that with people. And if you want to download your video, you can click download and download it there. So if you're in the B2B space and you're interested in learning how you can leverage your video content, check out the step-by-step -step video that shows you how to distribute your content to your ideal customers.